Monday, June 15th post. Uh, this will be your last post until next Monday, just because I know that there's a lot of stuff coming up. So I want to give you a chance to finish off anything that you need to before the 19th. Um, this one is pretty straightforward. It's just a simple lesson you'll have until the 19th to submit it to me. So that won't be any other new posts this week. And then you'll have to check back next week for more information. Uh, so we'll go through the information and then I'll give you the worksheets at the end. Uh, so for this, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about ocean currents. So ocean currents are a large amount of ocean water that moves in a particular unchanging direction. And the earth has more than 20 major ocean currents. And currents can be warm or cold depending on where they are coming from, where their origination is. Uh, this just shows you some of the different uh, currents that are out there uh, that stay in the same path. They're unchanging, and it just gives you a general guide to see where some of those are. Uh, there are two types of ocean currents that exist. There's surface currents. They extend to an average depth of about 200 meters. And then there's deep water currents, and they occur deeper than 200 meters. Uh, when we talk about surface currents, they can be uh, they can be caused by the wind, the spin of the Earth, as well as the shape of the continent that they are traveling by or around. Uh, when we talk about wind action, air moves over the ocean's uh, surface. Its energy is transferred by the friction of the water molecules, uh, causing the ocean water to move. Uh, the wind travels in a clockwise direction north of the equator and in a counterclockwise direction south of the equator. Uh, currents travel in the same direction. So if it's come, if the current is coming from the north, uh, then it's going to travel in a clockwise direction. And if the water current is coming from the south, it'll travel in a counterclockwise direction. Just a bit of a fun fact there. Um, when we talk about the Earth's spin affecting uh, the ocean currents, uh, the Earth spins west to east, which is counterclockwise. And as winds and currents move over the spinning body, their paths get redirected depending on what side of the equator they are on. Uh, as a result, air currents flow in a clockwise pattern in the northern hemisphere and a counterclockwise pattern in the southern hemisphere. Again, sort of just reiterating what we said on the previous slide. Um, the shape of the continent uh, affects uh, how they move as well. Moving currents are forced to turn when they meet a solid surface. So depending on the shape of the continent, they're going to move in a different direction when they reach that continent. When we talk about deep water currents, they are caused uh, by the following uh, factors of temperature and then salinity. So the amount of salt water, uh, the amount of salt found in that water, and that affects uh, deep water currents. Uh, when we talk about temperature, warm water, uh, warm water temperature, sorry, water temperatures vary in depth, and there are three layers of the water. So the surface layer is the warmest water, uh, the thermocline, which you can see is right here, so it's between about uh, 200 to 1,000 meters. Uh, this temperature varies anyway from, may drop from 20 to 5 degrees. And then deep water, you see here, uh, temperatures are close to freezing. So when people are scuba diving in those depths of water, they need to have a lot of extra thermal layers in their scuba suits because uh, it is very cold down at those depths of the water because the sunlight can't reach that far down to warm them up effectively. Uh, temperature affects the density of ocean water, as we've talked about. So if it's colder, it's more dense. If it's warmer, it's less dense. So cold water is more dense than warm water, and it tends to sink. Uh, the temperature differences in water may cause vertical convection currents, where warmer water is rising and colder water is sinking. Convection currents can occur in water as well. It's not just an air thing. Uh, and then these masses of cold water are called density currents. Uh, this is just showing you an example of that. You don't have to look too far into that. Um, and then the salinity of water also causing a factor in deep water currents. Uh, density currents can also uh, be caused by differences in salinity. So the density currents can be affected by the amount of salt that is in that water. Uh, water with high salinity is denser and water with a lower salinity is less dense. That's all that we really need to talk about for this uh, lesson. And then you have, again, your pages. So page 60 and 61, activity 2-2B, that's the title of the activity. You're going to answer questions 1 to 4 on what did you find out. Uh, you also have to complete steps 1 and 2 from the what to do uh, section because there is a part that you have to do in that. Uh, and again, like I said, you have until the 19th to hand this in to me. Best of luck and enjoy the rest of your week, you guys.